Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math for Quarter 1, Week 8 Milk Base Let's learn about Solving problems involving division and any other operations of whole numbers Lesson 1 After going through this lesson, you are expected to Solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division and any of the other operations of whole numbers, including money, using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Hello kids! Today, we are going to study about solving problems involving division and any other operations of whole numbers. First, let us understand the concept of multi-step word problem. In multi-step word problem, there are two or more operations. You must solve them in the correct order to be successful. Since word problems describe a real situation in detail, the question being asked can get lost in all information, especially in multi-step problems. Let's take a deep understanding of this concept by reading and analyzing the problem. Let's start our lesson by doing the following activities. Learning Task 1 Read and analyze the given problem. Leo bought 4 t-shirts and 2 pairs of pants for 3,000 pesos. If the t-shirt costs 300 each, find the cost of each pair of pants. What is as in the problem? Very good! The cost of each pair of pants. What are given? Very good! The given are... 3,000 pesos for 4 t-shirts and 2 pairs of pants and 300 pesos for each t-shirt. What is the operation to be used? Very good! The operation to be used are multiplication, subtraction, and division. What is the hidden question? Very good! The hidden question is the cost of four t-shirts. What is the number sentence? Very good! The number sentence is 3,000 minus open and close parentheses 300 times 4 divided by 2. And now, write the solution. So the solution is multiply 300 times 4. 300 times 4 equals 1,200. Then subtract it to 3,000. 3,000 minus 1,200 equals 1,800. And now, divide it by 2. 1,800 divided by 2 equals 900. So the answer is, the cost of each pair of pants is 900 pesos each. Let's move to learning task 2. Solve the following problem. Number 1. A leaking faucet weighs about 3 liters of water a day. How many liters of water can be saved daily if 500 leaking faucets are repaired? To solve the problem, multiply 500 times 3. 500 are the leaking faucets daily. And 3 are the liters of water of a leaking faucet. First multiply 0 times 3 equals 0. 0 times 3 equals 0. 5 times 3 equals 15. So the answer is 1,500. 1,500 are the liters of water can be saved daily. Number 2. The quotient is 25 and the divisor is 14. The dividend is 353. 
I am the remainder. What number am I? To solve the problem, divide 353 to 14. 353 divided by 14 equals... First, divide the two digits from the dividend. 35 divided by 14 equals 2. 2 times 14 equals 28. 35 minus 28 equals 7. Then bring down 3. 73 divided by 14 equals 5. 5 times 14 equals 70. 73 minus 70 equals 3. So the remainder is 3. So the answer is the remainder is 3. Number 3. Isaiah had 63 apples. He divided all apples evenly among his nine friends. How many apples did Isaiah give to each of his friends? To solve the problem, divide 63 divided by 9. 63 apples divided by 9 friends. So 63 divided by 9 equals 7. 7 times 9 equals 63. 63 minus 63 equals 0. So that means Isaiah gives 7 apples to each of his friends. Number 4. Nancy needs 5 oranges to make a glass of orange juice. If Nancy has 250 oranges, how many glasses of orange juice can she make? To solve the problem, divide 250 divided by 5. First, divide the two digit from the dividends. 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. 25 minus 25 equals 0. Then bring down 0. 0 divided by 5 equals 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. 0 minus 0 equals 0. The answer is she can make 50 glasses of orange juice. And now, let's move to learning task 3. Solve the following problem. Number 1. Joseph has 48 comic books. He sold one-fourth of his collection to his friend. He bought twice the number of comic books as he has now. How many comic books does he have now? Here is the number sentence. In this operation, we use subtraction and multiplication. 48 is the number of comic books. First, we will multiply 1 4 times 48. So 1 4 times 48 is 12. 1 4 of 48 are the numbers of comic books he sold. And then, subtract it to 48. 48 minus 12 equals 36. And now, multiply it by 2. 36 times 2. 2 means he bought twice the number of comic books as he has now. So 36 times 2 equals 72. He have now 72 comic books. Number 2. In the library, there are 9 rectangular tables with 8 pupils each and square tables for 4 pupils each. How many square tables are needed so that 100 pupils can read at the same time? To solve the problem, analyze it first. The question is how many square tables are needed so that 100 pupils can read at the same time? Here is the number sentence. 100 minus 9 times 8 divided by 4. So 100 are the number of pupils. 9 are the rectangular tables. Then multiply it to 8 pupils. After that, divide the answer to 4 pupils. We use 3 operations for this problem. Subtraction, multiplication, and division. So first, multiply 9 times 8. 9 rectangular tables times 8 pupils equals 72. And then, subtract it to 100. 100 minus 72 or 100 pupils minus 72 equals 28. So there are 28 pupils left. And then divide it to 4. 4 pupils. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. 
So the answer is 7. 7 square tables needed in the library so that 100 pupils can read at the same time. And now, let's move to learning task 4. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. There were 407 boys and 438 girls who liked to join the Independence Day Parade. How many buses will be hired if 65 persons can be accommodated in the bus? A. 12 B. 13 C. 14 or D. 15 So read and analyze the problem. Here is the number sentence. 407 plus 438 Divide by 65. Find the answer. Very good! The correct answer is letter B, 13. 13 buses will be hired to accommodate 65 persons. Number 2. 6 pupils shared 3 baskets of eggplants they harvested. There were 35 eggplants in the first basket. 45 in the second basket, and 22 in the last basket. How many eggplants did each pupil get? A. 15 B. 16 C. 17 or D. 18 Analyze the problem. Here is the number sentence. 35 plus 45 plus 22 Then divide the answer by 6. 35 are the number of eggplants in the first basket. 45 in the second basket and 22 in the last basket. Then divide it to 6 pupils. So what is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. 17. Each pupil get 17 eggplants. Number 3. Jana has 66 stationary envelopes in her collections. Her pet destroyed half of them last week. This week, she brought 17 envelopes more. How many envelopes does she have now? A. 50 B. 60 C. 30 or D. 40 Analyze the problem. So here is the number sentence. 66 is the number of stationary envelopes. Then divide it by 2. And then add 17 envelopes more. So what is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A, 50. She have now 50 stationary envelopes. Number 4. Mary Chris won 40 chocolates bar at a school pair. Then she gave 4 to each of her friends. She only has 8 chocolates left. How many friends does she have now? A. 5 B. 6 C. 7 or D. 8 Analyze the problem. The number sentence is 40 minus 8 divided by 4 equals N. 40 chocolate bars divided by 4 to each of her friends. So what is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter D. 8. The chocolates are divided to 8 of her friends. Number 5. Lori Lee has weekly allowance of 150 pesos. She donated one-third of it to Bantay Bata Foundation. To earn more money, she applied to wash her parents' car for 75 pesos. How much money does she have now? A. 175 pesos B. 150 pesos C. 125 pesos or D. 250 pesos So analyze the problem. The number sentence is 150 pesos minus 50 or the one-third of 150 plus 75 pesos for the car wash equals N. What is the answer? Very good! The correct answer is 175 pesos. Her money now is 175 pesos. Remember, the steps in solving multi-step routine problems are Understand. Know what is asked and what are given. Plan. 
Know the operation to be used and the hidden questions. Solve. Decide the operation to be used to find the answer to the hidden question. Then solve for the answer up to the last operation. And then, check and look back. Review and check your answer. The steps in solving multi-step non-routine problems involving division and any other operations are Read and analyze the problem carefully. Tell what is asked and what are given. Use strategies like acting out the problem. Listing, table method, guess and check, drawing, making a diagram, using patterns, working backwards to solve it. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye! Thanks for watching!